the chamber finds that murder, extermination, and persecution were foreseeable to the accused. The underlying acts of persecution which were foreseeable were cruel treatment, forcible labor, labor at the front lines, the use of non-serves as human shields, the appropriation or plunder of property, and the wanton destruction of private property, including cultural and sacred sites. Therefore, in conclusion, in relation to the municipality's component, the accused bears individual criminal responsibility pursuant to Article 7.1 of the statute for persecution, extermination, murder, deportation, and forcible transfer as crimes against humanity, and murder, a violation of the laws or customs of war.